Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at Spectronics' very own Proton 375 Eco Marathon Package. I am Natalie and I'll be your host for today. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. Here's what you get right off the case. You have your DC-DC converter, your super capacitors, and a box containing the fuel cell controller and its wires. We'll get to these others in a second. What we're really here for is this beauty. This is the Proteum 375. Here at Spectronic, we have specially made this product for Eco Marathon cars. By looking at previous Eco Marathon competitions, we found that winning vehicles generally use about 200 watts of power. This small and compact package picks quite a punch for its size, up to 375 watts of it to be exact. It is designed to peak in efficiency at around the 200 watt mark, but has the extra power available should you need it. Said design takes advantage of a fuel cell's efficiency curve, whereby the efficiency of fuel cells peak at a power lower than the maximum power output. We have done a lot to boost the efficiency of the Proteum 375. One thing we did is that we implemented dynamic purge controls. The fuel cell purge frequency is dynamic based on how much energy is delivered rather than fixed intervals of purging. For example, if your vehicle is idle or coasting, the fuel cell won't purge as often as compared to if you are accelerating. This means that less hydrogen is lost through purging and your efficiency increases overall. For safety, we also have pressure and temperature sensors placed in critical areas of the fuel cell. So, if there are any leakages or overheating, it will be displayed in the software. The fuel cell will also shut itself off if it's too dangerous to keep operating based on those parameters. Realistically, a motor's power draw will fluctuate based on how the vehicle is being driven. That's where the DC-DC converter and the supercapacitor come in. With the DC-DC converter, you can also set the output to a fixed voltage of say 24, 48 or 72 volts to cater to the motor that's being driven in your vehicle. You can also limit the current so that the power draw of the fuel cell is constantly at its optimal value of around 200 watts. The supercapacitor acts as the main energy storage for the fuel cell. It can be used to start up the fuel cell as well. If your vehicle is doing something that demands more power, for example, climbing a hill, the supercap will provide extra energy to help with these transient loads. The fuel cell can then recharge the supercap once these transient loads are stabilized. Now, let's see how everything works, shall we? We've just got everything set up here and we're using the super cap to start the fuel cell. So, to start the fuel cell, we simply press the S symbol and the start button. Now, we can't forget our hydrogen supply, which is right here. By the way, you can find this exact carbon fiber tank and the miniature regulators on our website, spectronic.com. So, I'm just going to give this a turn. And I'll connect these two tips together. And now we wait. There we go, it's alive! Another feature we've added that will benefit eco marathon teams is the ability to remotely monitor the fuel cell. This is done using radio communication that has a range of up to 10 kilometers. Teams also have access to this user interface here, which can directly control the fuel cell, including processes such as startup, mana perch, and fan controls. This way, teams can immediately react should any issues arise during a driver on track. Let's test out the software controls. I will now be performing a manual perch. And if you want more cooling, you can turn up the fan speed as well. Now, let's check to see how our fuel cell is performing. The DC-DC converter is currently configured to run the fuel cell at 200 watts. I've got an electronic load here in place of the vehicle motor to show how much power the fuel cell is putting out. And it shows it's outputting about 200 watts. I've also got a flow meter here to read the flow rate in standard liters per minute. Right now, the fuel cell is consuming about 2.2 liters per minute. Now that you've seen what the Eco Marathon package can do, we've come to the end of this video. For further technical explanations of the products mentioned in this video, check the link in the description box below. 
You can also contact us via email tellerexpectionly.com. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for fuel cell videos to come in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!